fact, most of the world's major airlines, domestic and international, rely on this oil company for fuel. When it really counts, they seem to be the one to count on. With that in mind, what kind of gasoline do you think they'd make for your car? You'd be right. Citgo, when it counts. Big 12 football is brought to you by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper, this is the taste. And by the all-new BMW 3 Series. Everything your car does well, it does brilliantly. Rides going at the Texas State Fair. And inside the Cotton Bowl, it's all Longhorns. 34-3 over Oklahoma. Texas averaging 43 points a game this year. The problem for them is they've been giving up 37 a game, but not today, Dave. Not today. Their defense has done a great job, and, and I think they're starting to build confidence. You know, this, this football team, Ricky, uh, of course, needs uh, eight more points to become the NCAA all-time scoring leader. He's got 12 on the board today. That includes kickers. He's already the all-time scoring leader among non-kickers. Right. This is Thornton, who had a long return earlier. And he gets to the 45-yard line for Oklahoma. 27 yards on the return. How about Ricky Williams? 22 rushing touchdowns in six football games. It's incredible. I've heard of worse ideas, by the way, than this. Oh, yeah. You know what, I think there'd be a lot of kids growing dreadlocks out there if Ricky were president. I'm going to try to grow some. Yeah, if I could, I would. I you, can't, I can't you grow You look good at way. dreadlocks. <laughs> That's that, just my opinion. That would be something. Eric Moore to DeMond Parker. And Parker will get six yards to the 49-yard line of Texas. Parker. Let's think, look at what uh, Texas has done defensively this year and how they fared today. Yeah, let's make a, a reference point. Look at this. Less than half. They've allowed less than half the total yards they've been giving up on the season. Of course, you know, Oklahoma has struggled offensively. Let's let's speak a truth here. UCLA and Kansas State can light you up. And Texas got lit up. But they didn't lose their perspective on the season, and they're improving. And that's the key. Gerald Williams. Gerald still doesn't know the ball was released. And Eric saying, come back to the football. You're supposed to run a comeback route or an out route. Yep. Gerald Williams saying, I thought I was running the streak. Yeah, Williams was running the double move, and Moore was throwing the single move. And, and once again, quarterback and receiver on different pages. Well, unfortunately, that has been the story all day for Oklahoma. 2 of 13, won't get it done. Well, there have been so many 3rd and 13, 3rd and 15, 3rd and 17. Those are brutal to convert. And he broke the line of scrimmage. Williams did. When he went in motion, he went forward. No goal. We're going to take five the yards. out. <laughs> 7 19 to go. Good ball. Good ball. Outside. Sometimes the toughest decision is deciding when to make your move. If you've been waiting to refinance, make your move now with the new Ultimate 125 loan from First Plus. It lets you refinance up to 125% of the value of your home, no equity required, so you can consolidate bills and get extra cash all in one loan. Make your move count with the new Ultimate 125 only at First Plus. Hey, son, get back here. <laughs> Call 1-800-510-PLUS. Vietnam War. The major television event TLC brings you the heroes of battle in the raw reality. Something whoosh of chopper blades, muddy rats infested bunkers, violent spatter of sudden water fire in the morning sunshine. This is the stuff of a soldier's memory. Vietnam, the soldier story. A three night event premiering Sunday at 9 on TLC. Adventures for your mind. While we were away, we missed a sack. The fourth by Texas today. Eric Moore was dropped. And Ferguson wearing that right leg out. Another hammer job. Over the head of Hodges Mitchell. Good discipline by Mitchell. 
to let it go over his head. He stopped right at the 10-yard line. He knew where he was. 58 yards for Jeff Ferguson on that punt. Well, it's no surprise that Hodges Mitchell did a good job there. He's a very bright kid on the academic honor roll a year ago in the Big 12. And Hodges Mitchell, as you mentioned, drew the 10-yard line is the demarcation zone. Don't venture past that. Put the invisible fence there, and if you approach it, get that slight correction to remind you not advance any further in retreat. Texas has been balanced offensively all year, and they've been balanced today. Applewhite's had a big day, and Ricky Williams has had a nice day. So Ante Jones grabs him in the backfield. Ante Jones, five foot nine and 196 pounds from Homestead, Florida. He's playing outside linebacker. Look at the guns on the guy. Bench is over 400. He's got some loaded guns now. You know, he'll hit you, but he gets hit hard a lot, too. He's undersized. He runs like heck. They call him the Energizer. After the Energizer Bunny, he just keeps going and going. But a lot of times, he can't practice at all during the week. He's so beaten up from Saturday. Applewhite wants to run again. He gets a good block. And he gets positive yards. And a flag down again. I think Oklahoma may have jumped offside at the start of this play. I think that was a free play once again. Nope. Illegal procedure on Texas. Derek Lewis was the final block for Major Applewhite on the peel back, the peel back block that got him to the sideline. That was a big hit. We're seeing that call quite a bit. You have to have seven men on the line of scrimmage for it to be a legal formation. That time, Texas didn't have enough wide receivers up on the line of scrimmage. Only six people on the line of scrimmage. No go. Illegal play. Second and 21. by Terry White. You know, I'm looking on the Oklahoma side of the field, and a lot of folks are heading to the fair to get a hot dog and try to forget about this one. But in terms of burnt orange, I don't think anybody's left. No, they're, they're relishing this day. This doesn't happen in this series very often. Nine out of the last ten matchups between these two teams decided by ten points or less 49 times in this storied history by 10 points or less. Today is an aberration. 31-point lead by the Longhorns, and the Burn Orange fans are loving it. Applewhite, Ante Jones had him, lost him, and they get him the second time through. Second sack for Oklahoma today. Daryl Bright, Frank Romero, there's Bright coming off the field. He's been active on the defensive line today. A couple of pass knockdowns. He really has. And Oklahoma averaging four and a half sacks coming into the game. There's Jones on the inside move. Beats the running back, Brown. But Applewhite makes him miss. But now there's too many red jerseys, though. No place for him to, to turn to, and he gets sacked for the second time. Chris Stockton from his own end zone will punt. Jarrell Jackson back around midfield. inside the 30-yard line. And we will step away from the Cotton Bowl. 34-3, Texas. How come so many professional athletes wear copper bracelets? Hey, that's Chi-Chi Rodriguez. I think my energy band improves my golf game. Now you too can have the Chi-Chi Rodriguez energy band. It combines the power of copper with the harmonizing power of magnetic. He really looks good, too. The energy band is beautifully crafted from solid copper, then electroplated in genuine 24-karat gold with a stunning white gold accent. Patent-pending magnets make it truly unique, and it's designed to comfortably fit your wrist. Copper and magnetic bracelets sell in catalogs for up to $150 and more. But the Chi-Chi Rodriguez energy band is yours for only $19.95. 
Order yours now while supplies last. That's being a winner. To order, use your credit card and call 1-800-540-8118. That's 1-800-540-8118. Or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Call and order right now. The Longhorns 34, the Oklahoma Sooners 3, with 3.52 to play. Oklahoma has the football at the 27-yard line of Texas. A chance, maybe, to feel a little better about themselves offensively here. Eric Moore has been the quarterback the last several series. Third quarterback used by Oklahoma today. And they hand it to Reggie Skinner. And her first carry of the day doesn't net much. Junior college transfer from Northeastern Oklahoma A&M. Well, the fact that Oklahoma can't get much done throwing the football is allowing Texas to be creative with their defensive package in the front seven. It's becoming a front eight and nine and it's really getting aggressive. And Dave, as good as Devon Parker is, they're going to see eight and nine people on the line of scrimmage the rest of the year until they prove they can throw it a little bit. Gerald Williams, but had he caught it, he would have been out of bounds. Third down. You're right, Drew, and the difference for Texas today, Texas has got McGarity with over 150 yards in receptions, and Cabell with a touchdown as well to compliment Ricky Williams. What has Oklahoma got to show in a complimentary role to Parker? Nothing today, that's the problem. Look at this. They have 200 yards of total offense. They have 155 in returns. They had a long kick return, but they didn't capitalize. Might have been a different football game if they punched that in. And Eric Moore might have had his foot stepped on, just fell down. And yep. that, unfortunately, is symbolic of the day for the Oklahoma Sooners. Well, absolutely. It looked like either a center or guard stepped, and it's like putting a nail in your big toe. It's just absolutely planted to the turf, and down you go. In full retreat, offensive line suddenly have to pass protect, and Moore gets tangled up with him. That'll be fourth than 13. They need the 17-yard line. Thornton, that was well covered. Texas all over the place. Well, Dusty Renfro got the hit, and part of the reason is Oklahoma let him come on the inside and pass protected further at, to the perimeter. You have to protect inside out to keep your quarterback clean. That time Renfro came clean and got the hit. together at Florida State. Well, Hodges Mitchell at 5'7", 190, Drew, a much different package than what Ricky Williams presents. And Oklahoma substituting late to the sideline, flag on the play, they have an illegal participation deal going on here. And while they sort that out, it gives us an opportunity to thank some important people who... <laughs> Oklahoma for unsportsmanlike conduct. We thank some important people who make Saturday afternoons possible for you. The executive producers are Arthur Smith and Bill Borson of this broadcast. The coordinating producer for college football Saturday is Roy Hamilton. Today's game has been produced by the good doctor, Robert Steinfeld, and directed by Ken Miller. The vice president of field operations is Andrea Jenkins. It's going to be regrouped.
time for John Blake. Oklahoma next week travels to Missouri and then Oklahoma State. And four of their next...